and welcome to Wildcat Action News. I'm Avery. And I'm Astrid. This week, we are starting off with our top story. Let's send it to the team. With the winter season in full effect, things are really cooling down. However, things are really heating up for Project Impact. This month, our Project Impact team is kicking off a coat drive that all Wildcats can be a part of. We spoke to Mrs. Arna and Mrs. Berg to get more information. Can you tell us a bit more about the code drive? Yes, I can. Project Impact is hosting another event and it is our annual coat drive. It starts next Tuesday. We will be collecting new and used coats and you can bring them. We're going to have some bins set up out front uh, near the office and you can bring your new or gently used coat. If you find any coats at home in your closet that don't fit you anymore, bring them in. We would love to have them. And our fifth graders at the end of the month are going to donate all of the used and new coats to the Dream Center, which is in downtown Peoria, to help people that are in need of coats. They will also take any hats that you have that don't fit you any longer, or new hats, any gloves that you might have as well. So if you uh, have a chance, go look through your closet, or tell your moms, dads, special people at home, and let's donate coats to help others in our Why community. Why is the coat drive important? The coat drive is important because all of us, of course, have a winter coat, hopefully, and as we get bigger and we grow out of them, often there's still some good use for them. So by running a coat drive at our school, we can collect the coats and then give them to people in the community who might need one. We are looking forward to helping those in need this winter by bringing in gently used and new coats, hats, and gloves. These small items can make a big impact for many in our community. So bring in those items, Wildcats, and you can be a part of this meaningful project. For Wildcat Action News, I'm Ananya. Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Thanks, Top Story team. Let's go to this week's classroom update. Hi, I'm Camilla. And I'm Gaia. Students in 5A have been doing an amazing job of learning and having fun so far this school year. Mrs. Arna and her students have been working hard in the classroom to make this year special. We had a chance to stop by and see what has been happening in 5A. What is your class learning this year? Gaia, we have been learning so much this year. One of the biggest things that we're learning is um, how to be great people in fifth grade and we kind of talk about that all year every day but as far as academics we're learning how to love reading and how to choose the right books to read and how to continue to read each and every day and we're doing a lot of reading strategies to help the reading be easier for us we've been super busy in math this year uh, we've studied fractions we've studied all of the number sense and multiplication and long division and long division with all the decimals and now we're moving into measurement conversions and volume which is a lot of fun and um, we do a lot of writing in 5a we've written some picture books this year that we've gotten to share with others and we're getting ready to work on uh, persuading someone in our school or our family to do something special for us when we do our persuasives so we've been very busy but having a lot of fun while we do it and we play a lot of games um, to learn and uh, we also get to meet with our buddies each week which teaches us how to be good leaders in our school family. What have you enjoyed most about the school year so far? Well Camilla, I love being in fifth grade with all of you guys. Um, this year has been extra special to me because we have so many new students from all around that have never been to Wilder Way before. So it's really been fun to watch them love our community and love our school and get to see like all kinds of new things and to learn a lot. And we've got a super sweet group this year, maybe the best group we've ever had before in 5A, which makes it uh, even more special. We have a lot of fun, we've learned a lot, and uh, we work hard every day, but most of all, we're nice to each other. What have you enjoyed most about the school year so far? I've enjoyed the snow, the cold, um, because in Arizona I didn't get to experience it as much and I get to play with my friends in it. What have you enjoyed most about the school year? Well, I've enjoyed the ball game, math muscle, and we're doing reading groups in class. What have you been learning in 5A? 
In 5A in math, we've been learning about measurements and data, and Miss Arna is reading us a new book called Restart. What have you learned most about the school year so far? Well, in math, we've been learning about the met metric system. And in reading, we've been doing reading groups with 5C. And in social studies, we're learning about the Civil War. 5A is doing an amazing job this school year. Thank you to Mrs. Arna and her students for letting us stop in to see all of their learning and all of their fun. For Wildcat Action News, I'm Gaia. And I'm Camilla. Let's, Let's send it back up to the newsroom. Let's take a look at this week's lunch with Chef Isa and Chef Nelson. Hello, Wildcats. Christmas is really fun. Yeah. Guess what? What? I got the new spatula I wanted. Well, that's always nice. I know. Let's go check out the lunch menu. On Monday, we're having no school. On Tuesday, we're gonna have brunch for lunch. On Wednesday, we're gonna have a corn dog. On Thursday, we're gonna have chicken tenders and a wheat roll. And on Friday, we're gonna have cheese pizza. This thing comes in handy for a lot of things. Like what? Like cook on my nice new stove. Aww, I can't believe I broke my spatula. But I guess how the, that's how the cookie crumbles. Well, I got a lump of coal for Christmas. Well, that's always nice. Let's send you back up to the newsroom. We are ready for this week's Wacky Word of the Week. Welcome, Wildcats, to Wacky Word of the Week. I'm Levi. And I'm Colin. I'm Colin. And I'm Levi. Today's word is avant-garde. What does that mean? It's French for new. Oh, that's funny. It's a new year. Oh, I know. Oh, and by the way, when do I get a raise? No, and by that, I mean never. Why not? Because I don't even get paid. Plus, we shouldn't discuss our wages while on air. Okay. Well, see you next time on Wacky Word of the Week. Would you rather have stitches or cavity fill? Cavity fill. Would you rather get stitches or get a cavity filled? I'd rather get stitches. Would you rather get stitches or a cavity fill? Um, stitches. Would you rather get stitches or have a cavity filled? Definitely going with getting a cavity filled. Would you rather have stitches or a cavity filled? Stitches, because if they give you melatonin, that the melatonin makes you fall asleep and you won't feel a single thing. Would you rather get stitches or have a cavity filled? Have a cavity filled. Would you rather get a cavity filled or stitches? Am I allowed to have pain medication before this? No. No. Then I choose stitches. Okay. It's time for this week's quick quiz. Can you get the answer? Let's go to the joke of the week. What do you call someone that was born on December 31st? New Year's Steve. That's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on Wildcat Action News. Okay, Avery, time to go get your shots. No! Ooh, someone's in trouble. <laughs>
for Wildcat Action News. I'm Sophie. Let's and I'm Nadia. Listen. No, we're doing it again.